guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalkers Mwah! welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey you guys we have so much to get into from run don't walks to talking about this giveaway and the fall pickup that I want to share with you. And I also have some things that I think you may want to consider the next time you visit Walmart or the Dollar Tree. I want to show you fall pickups. I'm gonna kind of run through this because you guys, there's so much stuff that I want to share with you to my left, which is your right. We're gonna roll into. First thing I want to jump into, a pair of shoes. I am a big fan of the interwoven leather that is Bottega Veneta. The Sunday slippers I will post here or here have caught my attention so much, I knew that I wanted to own a pair. The Bottega Veneta Sunday slipper chimes in at almost $1,500. I happened to be perusing some of the pre-love sites and I came across a pair of the Sunday slippers. And when I saw the price point, I immediately knew that I was going to get these. I picked these up off of the real real at a price of $325. These were absolutely a steal. These shoes are a size 38. I'm gonna hold this up so that you can screenshot the box if you wanna see. These shoes were barely worn. So comfortable. And the thing about these, interestingly enough, is that these run on the larger size. These are actually a size seven. They say 38 on the box, but if you're considering a pair of the Sunday slippers, try them on first If figure out what your size is before you decide to make the purchase. Because what you don't want is to get a pair of these and they end up being too big. Glad that I snagged these for the fall. Keeping in line with interwoven leather. Now you all know TJ Maxx is so random. I knew I had these Bottega Veneta woven shoes. I decided to take a look in TJ Maxx. I figured it'd be nice to see if I could find an all leather interwoven bag. Came across this stunning beauty. This bag is all leather, hand woven from the handles all the way to the tote, the body of the bag. There are no feet at the bottom. Once I felt it, I knew I was gonna get this. This rang in at a little over 300 and a little bit of change. You can hear the leather. If you are in TJ Maxx and you see this piece, I would strongly advise that you pick it up. Okay, moving on. Are some items that I picked up from All Saints. The first of which is a lightweight ribbed, what I would consider a layering turtleneck. I love it. Next, just a basic long sleeve ear type white t-shirt, perfect to do layering with. Third and final piece, something that is beginning to trend a little hard, the return of the skinny jean, but not the skinny jean as we all know it. These are skinny jeans with a twist. These skinny jeans by All Saints with the zippers at the front and then the zippers at the ankles. These hit right at the ankle. If you wanted to do a ballet flat with these, if you wanted to do a sneaker or a boot, these will give you that little bit of edge. Look how heavy duty industrial that these zippers are. These are a 29 and they fit amazing. If you have an All Saints that you can pop into, look for these skinny zipper tapered bottom jeans. They are everything. The total that I spent $267 for pieces that could have gone well over 800 from All Saints, we find ourselves at the Dollar Tree. In the wintertime, I do not like to be cold. So two things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree that I find to be 
absolutely cute and crucial. These black fuzzy gloves, you do not have to take your gloves off in order to use your phone. If you need to text, you have your thumb and you have this finger, right? I'm gonna hold it up, where you can touch the keypad on your phone. You can easily tap, you can scroll up, you can do whatever it is that you need to do on your phone. You can unlock your phone and it all works. These are amazing. I'm gonna hold this up so you can screenshot it. If you see these in the Dollar Tree, run the store to get these. I think these are offered in a variety of colors. I got the black, because black goes with everything. Run the walk and pick those up. Next thing that I picked up from the Dollar Tree related to the colder weather, a pair of earmuffs. Hey, you guys, please, when I tell you, run, don't walk, pick up. Look at these little bunny Oh my God, you guys, I saw these and I was through. They cover the ears so well. If it was very, very cold and you needed something just to pull out of your purse, to put on your ears, these are easy enough where you could travel with these. I'm gonna hold these up so that you can screenshot it. Run, don't walk to pick these up. The next thing, a fall pickup, Walmart. And Walmart has the most phenomenal sales section you just have to take your time and look you never know what you can come across which is in my case i was not in the market for any type of a black jacket was not but when i saw this this is just giving i'm running out i'm going to get a coffee i'm gonna just chill up this is the no boundaries faux leather bomber jacket this jacket rang in at five dollars on clearance i kept looking at it and i'm like no way no way no way this is not a leather jacket this fits tremendously i tried this on i fell in love with it you guys run to walmart to see if you cannot find this jacket it is by no boundaries you know we don't get keep here run don't walk to see if you can't find that jacket because it is well worth it next up Walmart piece again. Walmart has some of the best t-shirts and I love to take my time whether it's in the big kids, men's, women's. If I find something that I like, I am going to get it. I happen to be in the men's section. I came across this t-shirt going in at $6.98. This is something I could sleep in. This is a layering piece. Wear a nice blazer on top. I always think about options and things that I can do with a Piece. If I can get my bang for the buck out of a piece, it's gonna go in my cart and it's gonna go home with me so I can utilize it. But if you are in Walmart, in the men's department, and you see this for $6, you cannot go wrong. Run, don't walk to get it. Some things for the home. I am a big fan of coffee table books. Please take yourself to Home Goods because I have a couple of coffee table books I think you would want to know about. First coffee table book I want to share with you is this book. It is called Unexpected Paris, a Contemporary Portrait. I picked this up at Home Goods for $16.99. If you are a big fan of Parisian chic Paris in general, I'd say this would be worth the purchase. Run don't walk to Home Goods to see if you can't find Unexpected Paris for yourself. Next something that i cannot even believe that i found this book is the quintessential fashion person if you are into fashion you would want this fashion book fantasies by kyrene rodfeld the fashion book my god you guys this book i was not going to pass up say no to because i have a feeling that if i did i would never be able to find this book at this price period i picked this book up in home goods for 69 dollars and 99 cents 70 dollar book i cannot wait to look through this book fashion people come on now well worth it last thing a fall pickup that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue, out of the men's department. I've always wanted an essentials sweatshirt by fear of God. Let me show you this. 
It is a size large. But let me tell you why I got this sweatshirt. I got the sweatshirt, one, because it is so roomy, so slouchy. It looks so great no matter what you pair this with. But the thing that had me at hello, it has pockets. If I was just running out to get a coffee, meet a friend, whatever, and throw keys and a cell phone in the pocket, I snagged this for $63. The essentials, fear of guard, that's all blacked out. You cannot tell. It's one of those things you put it on, someone sees you, if they know, they know. If they don't, it's okay. There you have it. Those are my fall pickups and some run, don't walk things that I think you would want. I want to show you the two bags that are going to be a part of the giveaway. This is one of two bags. So I'm going to put this down here. The other bag, part of the giveaway, is going to be this mini golf bag by Nothing Written. This bag has never been carried. All of the tags are still attached. A smaller bag, if you're into smaller bags, just like this hobo bag is a smaller bag, this would be something that you may want to consider as one of the choices if you're interested in either one of these bags for the giveaway. The dupe Chanel hobo, and it is going to be the nothing written handbag. This is an all leather bag. This is also an all leather bag, but it is a dupe. This is an authentic nothing written piece. This is a giveaway piece and this is a giveaway piece. Now here's how it goes. The same way that we did it the last time is the same way that we're going to do it this time. If you are interested in either one of these bags, one winner, one bag, either you want this bag by nothing written or you want the Chanel hobo one of the other but not both it is very simple tell me which one of these bags you would like to win in the giveaway the mini golf by nothing written or the chanel dupe chain around hobo all leather piece all leather piece it is that simple i am not asking you to go all over the place and follow me on instagram no 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 you need to leave which bag you are interested in in the comments section and tell me why so you have to do the same thing as we've done before you have to like you have to comment which one of these you're interested in and you need to be subscribed let me know in the comments below one winner per giveaway bag this giveaway for these bags is going to run for five weeks we've got five weeks you've got plenty of time to make up your mind about which one of these beautiful bags you would like to be entered in to win five weeks from now the giveaway will close that following sunday the two lucky winners will be announced so it's very simple once the winners are announced the bags will be sent immediately to the two lucky winners. I don't make things complicated. My responsibility here is to give back to you guys. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so don't miss out. Tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. If you're interested, you can head on over to Poshmark. You can check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you are interested in, feel free to leave me a message there, or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on Instagram. Feel free to DM me there as well. If there's anything in my Poshmark closet that you are interested in. So you guys, there you have it. These are the two beauties that are up for grabs. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Real good.